welcome back to Uncle Fezzi's Mad Laboratory here. I joined a Facebook group that said um, that that's concentrated lamp working for adults. Um, so basically, what this site is or this page is on Facebook is all about oxygen concentrators. And I see a lot of questions come up on this page about, or on that page, about can you run a GTT Phantom directly off of an oxygen concentrator? And the short answer is yes. Uh, the longer answer is not too well. Oh, now we got two dogs barking. So I'm going to go through how I actually do this or how, how I do it and, and what I can and can't do with using just the straight oxygen concentrator. Um, so the first thing you got to do is turn them on. Oh. All my alarms are on. Okay. And you need to crack one of the oxygens or both of the oxygens. So the way I have this system set up here, so the way I have the system set up, is, first of all, it's dangerously close to my electrical panel is this is the, the feed line from the oxygen concentrators. Now, under normal circumstances, this, this valve here will be closed. All right, I gotta open it back up. Um, this valve would be closed. This line would go down and feed into my oxygen compressor. Well, we're not using the oxygen compressor today. We're using just straight out of the oxygen condensers. got to tap the valves or tap the gauges makes you feel better so the way it works is I have this valve here which is open I have this valve here which is open and I opened the oxygen valve on my Carlisle um, because the Carlisle um, flows more oxygen than the Phantom and I want to talk about that real quick. Now I have the oxygen condensers turned all the way up. They won't go any higher. I'm running two oxygen condensers. I'm running an Invacare Platinum XL 5 liter. I'm running a DeVille Bliss, I forget the model number, 5 liter. Turn this fan on here. Now, it takes a minute or two for these things to warm up. time period I'm gonna um, I'm gonna prep the camera here for viewing I'm too cheap to buy the proper um, the proper filter for this so I'm just gonna tape this didium these didymium glasses over the lens, and that'll work just fine for what we're doing. And I'm actually watching myself in the video thing here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Zoom in a little. Zoom in a little. There we go. That's better. Okay, so I've got two green lights on my oxygen concentrators, which means I can now use my torch or breathe. Um, now, so let's uh, let's see what we can get going here. Now I'm going to turn the. I'm going to turn the phantom on first because I want to show exactly. Oh, 
what kind of flame I can get out of the Phantom. Now, the with the fan, this is the out, outer oxygen, or this is the Lynx outer oxygen, this is the Lynx inner oxygen. That's turned up all the way. Um, and this is actually a, a perfectly acceptable flame. Let's see if I can get the exposure right here. Doesn't look like it'll let me do that. Oh well. So this flame is actually a pretty nice flame to work with if that's what you're doing. Um, now, if I turn the outer fire on, I have to turn these two down significantly, actually. I'm going to turn that one almost all the way off. And I'm going to turn the propane way down. Now, this is the flame I get just using the oxygen concentrators. Now, the problem with this flame that is that it's real soft. It's a perfectly usable flame for some people. For the things that I do where I'm using my outer flame, I, I can't use this. Um, I mean, I can, but it would take forever and a day to make a marble. Now, I want to turn the, the Carlisle on here. I'm going to turn the Phantom off. And I'm turn the Carlisle on. Now, interestingly enough, the Carlisle produces a different flame under the concentrators than the Phantom. So I have both the oxygen concentrators right now running in series. So the Devilblis and the Invicare are both cranked all the way up, flowing as much oxygen as they possibly can. The Carlisle will use all of that oxygen. Okay, so it'll run, it's so theoretically I'm running probably eight liters a minute, give or take a little bit, you know, depending on how accurate the flow meters are, which I don't know how accurate they are. Um, and this is a great flame. As a matter of fact, this flame I can pull points with. I can pull nice points with this flame. interesting things I found running just the straight concentrators is that the Phantom for whatever reason just using the Lynx fire does not even with both oxygens all the way open does not use as much oxygen as the Carlisle does. So that's not really a huge problem other than you can't use the Lynx to its fullest capabilities without the pressure of the bottled gas. 
I'm not going to turn the bottles on just because I don't feel like it. But And this video is about running them off the concentrators. Now, when I pull points with the Phantom, I like that flame. Which is push, which basically what I did was I cracked the outer fire oxygen. And what it does is it makes this flame a little bit wider right here. Uh, it's a shame I, I can't get that camera to expose properly to show the candles and how the flame characteristics change um, when you manipulate the oxygen valves on this torch. Let me go grab my hand. I've discussed this before. I don't wear these to protect my hands as much as I wear them to allow the glass to spin nicer in my palms. Um, apparently I have sweaty palms. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull a point off of this one. The running directly off the concentrators has its advantages depending on what I'm doing. If I am just doing what I'm doing right this minute, which is pulling points on one inch OD medium wall tubing for Christmas ornaments or beads, depends on what I feel like making with that particular point at the time. It's perfectly acceptable. As a matter of fact, it, it's there's no reason to run the air, the oxygen compressor. There's no reason for me to run the oxygen compressor to compress bottled oxygen when I don't really need it. I actually like pulling these points. Oh, that wasn't good. With the Carlisle, because the Carlisle, using the compressor, or using the condenser, I get those mixed up all the time. Um, it gives me a wider flame. So, If I don't crack, if you don't crack an oxygen, you set an alarm. The Invacare is, um, there it goes. God, I hate that alarm. So I'm gonna crank this oxygen all the way up and that alarm goes off for a specific period of time. And there's no way to shut it off other than disconnect the alarm, which I might do. That's another reason I don't use... Uh, that's another reason I don't like to use the Invacare is that goddamn alarm. Uh, I don't even run the... I don't run the Invacare into the compressor because it sets that alarm all the time. I hate that alarm. I hate alarms. I, I hate them. Alarms are bad. So this, to the, the Carlisle here, gives me a flame that I prefer to pull Christmas ornament points with. Now when I'm making Christmas ornaments, Uncle Fezzi's balls, I prefer to use the Phantom. Even with running it off of the condensers, I prefer to use the, the I prefer to use the Phantom, and it has different flame characteristics. Now, flame characteristics are very important when you're working with glass. When you're working with glass, flame characteristics are very important.
too much junk on my table. I wasn't going to do this today. I changed my mind. Um, so, basically, I think what it comes down to is it's just a preference. It's just a preference. Now, I can duplicate the flame that comes out of the Carlisle, but I'd have to turn the bottled gas on, and I don't want to do that. The orifices in the Carlisle are obviously larger than the orifices in the Phantom. Uh, it could also have, I also, I read somewhere too that it could also have to do with the way that the valves operate. So basically that's just what I wanted to show and I'm going to recap I'm going to recap it real quick. So I'm running two 5 liter oxygen condensers directly into my torches. The oxygen condensers are turned all the way up. They're producing about 3 to 5 liters per minute per unit. Direct out of the oxygen condensers directly into this Carlisle Mini CC. Now, I'm going to turn on the Phantom, which when I'm running the Carlisle, the Phantom will not work. But when I turn it on, it works. It works okay. It's, it's, it doesn't work as well as it does. It, it doesn't perform as well with the oxygen concentrators. It just doesn't. Um, and it's not the fault of the torch. It's just the way that this torch is designed to operate. This torch is 20 years old, 23 years old. And back when this torch was made, high pressure oxygen was the only oxygen that people would use with this torch. As a matter of fact, I think the consumption on this torch is 17 liters a minute at full blast um, at like 15 PSI. Now, when I was talking about the point being crooked, you can see that it's wobbly. Now this is the point that I pulled using the Phantom. And the reason that it's wobbly is the width of the point area where I heat it isn't as wide using this torch as it is with the Carlisle. Now I can make this torch wider, but I can't do it with the oxygen condensers. And running, torch, running compressed bottled gas when you have the condensers handy, like literally right here it's just kind of dumb there's no need to do it so this is working out very well for me I hope that answered your questions if you have any comments if I'm doing something wrong other than wasting my time and money making Christmas ornaments in March <coughs> it's actually April April Fool's Day um, I already know that uh, that I'm making Christmas ornaments in March. Okay. Now I can kind of run both of them. You can see immediately when I turn the Carlisle on. The Carlisle is a absolutely a gas guzzler. More so than the Phantom at low pressures. The Carlisle is designed to run at low pressure. That's part of my valve problem with the Carlisle. The valves on the Carlisle don't like to shut off because I'm running too high of an inlet pressure for my propane. And my propane inlet pressure is about 10 to 15 PSI. The Carlisle is not designed to stop that much gas. It's just a very simple, um, I forget the name of the valve, but it's like a valve in a seat and it's brass on brass. There's no seals, there's no nothing. It relies on the brass just to shut off the flow. I, I did clean the seats and the, uh, the valves a little, but... You get, I get a much nicer point out of the Carlisle almost every time. So when I'm making Christmas ornaments, I'm just using the Carlisle. There's no speed advantage one way or the other. That's another thing is 
is, is it faster for me to pull points using the Phantom and high pressure? And the answer is no. I don't, I don't, there's no advantage that I've found yet to doing it that way. Then there's another crooked one. They, it's not vitally important that these are perfectly straight for Christmas ornaments because my Christmas ornaments are crooked anyway. I crank them out 50 or 100 at a time and I sell them really cheap. So there's a certain level of that. Um, there's a certain level of there's a certain level of heat that you can only push so much heat into the glass at one time and not cause problems. There we go. And another crooked one. And this is my fault, not the torch. I might actually call it a day. I only came out here to shoot this video anyway. I'm going to leave the, the oxygen on and then shut the compressor off. Condensers. time for the dog to start barking. Welcome back. Welcome back to Mr. There goes the dog. 